Uh, my name is Gary Connors, once again, uh, from the Eagle, 103.3, 107.7 FM, uh, here uh, broadcasting, again, live at the uh, Lawrence House, trying to raise a couple of bucks. Uh, the uh, community... Um, uh, it just loves this place because it's all a local artists. Everything from uh, paintings and pictures and CDs and some sculptures. Jeffrey, how are you, buddy? Jeff? I'm great. Good. Good. I'm great. Good. Good. Jeff, uh, how do you uh, pronounce your last name again? Rayfuse. Rayfuse? Yeah. Rayfuse is common in uh, Nova Scotia. Oh. Um, my grandfather was one of the five Rayfuse to sail the Blue Nose. Oh, is that right? Yes. Bit yeah. of a history in that name. And, uh, yeah. <sighs> Where did you come up with the idea? Now, you're a local sculptor. You're from yes. what, Corona? Is that is, uh, Corona? I'm, in, I'm living in Corona. I've been working in Corona for the past 10 years. Right. Um, I came here from 20 years in Toronto working as an art director in advertising and communications. Right, right. To uh, start uh, my full time career as an artist. My dream as a boy, um, I made a decision to uh, go full time Canadian artist. Um, and to leave my art direction right. behind me. Oh, beautiful. Now, yeah, tell, I don't know where to start. You have some fantastic Well, where I started things. was in 2004. Right. Here at the Lawrence House. Oh. Yes, okay. it was an art walk uh, community event, mm. and um, I was introduced to the local community, the arts community, right. um, through that event. And I volunteered here at the Lawrence House, and I exhibited my first group of work here at, uh, at that event. And it was just great, it was fantastic. Yes, uh, you have pieces in here. How many pieces do you have on display here at the Lawrence House? I have uh, uh, two sculptures, main sculptures, that I've donated oh. um, in, for different causes. Right. One being uh, this sculpture behind me right sure. here, right. which was, was donated in uh, 2008. Right. Um, but we're formally, Dedicating it and yeah. donating it here today, right now, at this fundraiser. Well, let's uh, let's talk right about it here. What can you uh, what can you tell me about this one right here? We got this on the camera. Yeah, I think we do. This is um, this is called the Wings of Diversity. Oh. And I think that um, the 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 reason why I decided to donate this piece is because of the Lawrence House facilitating so many different types. Uh, cr uh, needs within the community, from after-school programs for children to um, the the different types of musical um, events and um, all ages for all ages within yeah. our community. That's right. And too. so this sculpture really fit the, fit the bill uh, for a piece to give symbolic of that diversity, and it's uh, con it's uh, created using wood for the blocks the two blocks and stones uh, from northern Quebec, Canada. It's serpentine, it's a native stone to Canada. People from all over the world um, come to Canada for the serpentine sculptures. Right, now, uh, that, that, uh, folks at home, like this isn't plastic, we're, we're talking, this is rock. You think this is a yeah. real thing? Yes, yes, and it's a piece of Canada. These are pieces of Canada. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Um, Where did you come up with the idea for this? Did it just come to you or? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Um, these two stones came in different loads and uh, when you get your stone, you look at it and you study it, you're not always getting it for a specific project. You're trying to see in the stone and find out what it's going to be about. In this case, I thought these two stones looked like wings and so push came to shove and eventually I decided to suspend them in space as wings in flight and uh, used uh, the two blocks in a composition to present these two stones. So, it, And then afterwards gave the name. I, I, like a, uh, naming a child when it's born, uh, <laughs> I gave the name, uh, uh, I named it afterwards. That, now that's nice and all. The stone obviously doesn't come all shiny and what nope. have you like that. Now what uh, did you actually have to do to, we're talking chisels and yes. polishing and what have you? Yep, um, in this case some of the surface, it's close to some of the surface, the original shape of the stone. But in many cases to create sculptures like this, which is a dynam dynamic shape that doesn't even look like a stone anymore. Um, I use chisels 
and uh, the traditional sculpting tools um, and files. A lot of files, different types of files. Um, so that's, that's uh, I go through that whole process and uh, to, to shine it up you uh, use water and sandpaper and buff it up. Now right now, uh, how long would uh, did that take you to do this particular piece right there? That piece right there? Right. Probably around 60 hours. Oh. Because I'm not using power tools. I use only hand tools. Oh, right. And so this is all done by hand. And if you, you can see the crisp lines in my, uh, my process. Exactly. Um, my, my, my style. It almost looks like a couple of stones together. So it takes a lot of focus and a lot of time and patience. Yeah, I would say, uh, where would you get the idea in that? What do you call that one, first of all? That's called the deepness of love. And I, I, I did uh, this sculpture and this sculpture and a number of other sculptures live on Facebook from start to finish. Oh. And I have quite a following. It's really great. Um, the different people from all over the world that you meet on Facebook. Exactly. And yeah. so you, when you go to start from start to finish, from a rock to this beautiful sculpture, um, people love it. People really dig it. They, they like to see something go from that natural resource as a stone, from Mother, mother Nature, Mother right. Earth, right. to a final Work of art. That is good. Now you have some on display at the gallery. Obviously, you know, they are for sale. Is that safe to say, or what? Uh, <laughs> some some are for sale. They some are, have been on exhibit, and others are maquettes. Um, this is a maquette. It's an example of a maquette that would be used um, as a small version for public art. And so this might be, you know, 15 or 20 feet tall in its final, which I haven't done yet, yeah. but it's my next phase of my artistic career is to do larger sculpture. Right. So I have many different maquettes trying to get work uh, as, as public art projects. I can see that. So you'd make something like that and present it to uh, someone and uh, yes. suggest, hey, how about 20 feet tall or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to work with the Sarnia Lambton Sculpture uh, Association. Oh, right. and, and so hopefully I can get something local um, but I, I have a maquette here which is which was done in 2005 and that is uh, it's, it's a it's a larger scope project and I presented this to the uh, council in Ottawa oh, yeah. but it's not it, it, it hasn't become a Can solely a Canadian project originally I wanted to take this sculpture right here which is called connected and oh, do okay. 13 duplicate sculptures across Canada. Right. Public art sculptures, in the, one in every province and, and territory across Canada. So the, the concept is we are all connected with each other and Mother Earth with the tree trunk. Um, and so that was back in 2005. Right. Now it, the project's evolved. And I want to bronze cast this maquette and send it out to 150 countries around the world, one in every country. And hopefully in the process, I can have a couple of these done full scale. Um, so these projects that I'm showing you right. evolved from my participation in Sarnia Lambton Arts and Culture, which started and continued here at the Lawrence House Center for the Arts. Um, and so I so am grateful to Lawrence House. Right. And I, I, that, that's why I, I decided to give them and the community this sculpture. Beautiful. Symbolizing that diversity that the Lawrence House brings to this community. Well, it is good if you've uh, never been down here, folks. Uh, Christina Street at, um, uh, that's what, Wellington over there? Yep. In downtown Sarnia. Uh, drop in and check it out. All local artists, uh, pictures, CDs. Sculptures, a whole shebang. Yeah. We've got it. Beautiful here. photography we're oh, looking at right incredible. here. Incredible. From the Sarnia Lampton yeah. Photography Club. Incredible stuff. Gorgeous work. It is good. Now, I get back to this one once again. Now, what does something like that weigh? Do you have a weight on that? How much? Uh, uh, um, this is the the wood part is hollow. Okay. So it doesn't it doesn't weigh as much. Um, so like the, the whole thing is about, I'd say. 80 pounds, 80 pounds, 80 pounds. Wow. but most of my larger work is, is, uh, is a lot heavier than that. If this, this being stone in, in 
a sculpture, it, right. you can't just move no, that. No, you wouldn't do that. Yeah, you have, to have, you have to have small cranes and lifts and, yeah. and to move stuff. So that's bit. one of the things you learn about stone when you're working with it. And, and, uh, and when you first start, is weight yeah. is a big back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I totally. And now, uh, do you have a, a website or anything other than Facebook? Or? I'm I'm solely working on Facebook, right. and uh, I find that it's it, it's been a great great way to inter interact and engage with not just um, people that like art and friends, but fellow sculptors from around the world I've met and. And um, I've just been able to learn a few things from them and share my work with everybody. And that's uh, just like the musicians would do. Uh, yeah. Share a few chord changes, and you guys are um, maybe a sculptor in Peru is saying, "Well, if you brought that just a little bit over and use this, uh, great. perfect. You gotta like that." Yeah. Now, how can we uh, friend you on uh, Facebook? Uh, what would um, uh, Jeffrey Rayfuse? You just key in Jeffrey Rayfuse sculptor. Up I come. Ask to be my friend, and you're in. There's <laughs> it. I'm going to have to do that. I'm up to 73 friends. I'm, hey, I know. Everybody's, oh, they're, I hate to brag. 73. How many friends do you have, uh, Jeffrey, on Facebook? Uh, five, 500, but... 500? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 500. <laughs> but there's people that have, there's public figures on Facebook, too. Right, right. People like... Uh, uh, if, you know, Bill Gates or Donald Trump and all these guys are actually marketing there too. So it's not just, um, it's, it's a different culture altogether. Oh, definitely. And, uh, and, I, and I noticed that there's, I've seen babies born on Facebook, <laughs> announcements of babies born. And right. all, it's, it's really great. It's something where people engage in, in, uh, in meeting people and getting to know people from around the world and within their own community. That's right. And our community is, uh, of course, at the Lawrence House, uh, lawrencehouse.ca, uh, la, that's right. Of course, you know that if you're watching. But there's, you can also donate money, 337-0507 is the number to call. Area code 519-337-0507. Now, uh, this is uh, your work to date. What are you working on now? Do you have a big project you're working on now? Um, this right here, right. the Connected National Landmark which is involved into an international uh, landmark of unity, is basically what my, my main goal is now. So I'm trying to get sponsorship right. for, for that. And, and right now, as I've mentioned, I'm talking with uh, the Sarnia Lantern Sculpture Association. And I'm, I'm, uh, I'm exhibiting my work here right. in Sarnia at Artopia Gallery. It's a wonderful gallery run by Kareem Scheiman, my precious friend. Um, so you can see my work there, and uh, hopefully I can soon get funding for this maquette to be bronze cast and sent out to 150 countries across the world um, and create a symbol of international unity. That's good. All based from uh, getting a start, more or less, from the, the Lawrence House here in Sarnia. This is where I started in 2004, and I continued one of my best stone sculpture exhibits was here, um, and, I, and I had over 20 sculptures, and I sculpted live for the International Fund for Animal Welfare. And it was really great because it was engaging with the public, um, and there was classes that came from the local high schools, and uh, just people that stopped by. And, and I'm, so for two months, I was here every day um, from the morning till 2 o'clock, and it was, it was the best possible experience you could have within, uh, within a, t taking your art from your own studio into the community. Beautiful. Yeah. That's a good thing. Jeffrey, thank you so much. Thank you. If you want to get down and check out some of the sculptures, we are open on Monday, uh, i got to get the hours, Monday to Friday from 10 till 4 30. All right, 10 to 4 30. Thank you so much once again, Jeffrey. Yeah, you too. We good. have more entertainment coming up, more information. Once again, 337-0507. Yeah, drop us a couple of bucks or donate some time. All right, the Lawrence House. We have now another, uh, just a slideshow, a wonderful slideshow. More entertainment live coming up from downtown Sarnia. Mm -hmm.